Hey guys, it's Steve with these Tackle Box. Today, I got a special treat for you guys. I know a lot of people like the Zara Spooks by Hedden, and that's what we're going to talk about this moment. Now, a lot of times I get questions about how to tell which ones are the earlier ones, which ones are the latest ones. There's some that were actually brought out that look exactly the same, like the 70s lures, 60s lures, but they're not. They're the newer version of it. And so we wanted to run by a couple of them and see what we can learn from these so that you can find the ones that you're looking for and that way you don't get a new lure and think that you're adding a nice old collectible to the collection. Now, keep in mind though, most of these lures, you know, the last time they were made, we're still talking about a good 40, 50 years ago. So a lot of these newer quote-unquote lures are still rather collectible so let's get into this and we're gonna start with the uh, Zara Spooks because I know of a lot of people who love those in Japan I got a lot of buddies over there that fish uh, strictly topwater those guys are killing it and they got their own um, the Smith colors that were produced later on uh, and and there's are beautiful colors I got a lot of those in my collection as well but we're going to talk about the original Zara Spooks that were started, I believe, back in the 40s with the uh, two-piece Zara hardware. And then after that, it moved into the 50s, 60s, 70s. We'll kind of go over it a little bit and see what we can teach y'all today. And maybe we all learn a little something. So here, we're going to start off with this one. This is a Zara Spook. And this is one of the best ways to tell which ones are the earlier ones. I don't have the two-piece hardware Zara Spooks. I'm assuming a lot of those probably are tough to find, especially because the plastic and that we're going to touch base on that at a later time. These right here, as you can tell, the eye is a gold color. The stenciling, this one's got a horizontal stencil. The hardware, it's a surface hardware, so it's the second generation. First generation had a uh, two-piece hardware. And I, uh, if I had something here with me right now that I could show you on two-piece, I would, but I don't. Um, that one right there, this one right here was actually uh, mid-50s to mid-60s lure. And you can tell because of that. So when you're looking at lures online or you're, some, you're buying or picking or picking something up at a flea market, if you can find these with the horizontal stamp like that these are some great old lures now a lot of people still say well I'd rather do the um, the other ones the sway back and we're gonna get into that in a minute but remember that mid 50s mid 60s gold eye nose tie which is one of the best details on here is where the nose tie is located right at the tip of the lure now let me show you all something here after that I believe we had in the 19 uh, what is it 65 70s they decided they would do something like this which is a nose tie with the brass hardware if you can see that on all of this lure right here it's got these heavy duty brass hardware pieces see and this one was supposedly for saltwater and heavy duty kind of fishing but a lot of people did not like the action the added weight the buoyancy changed there was a lot of problems with this one this one was uh what is it 60s mid 60s to 70s when this one came out for or well, actually it wasn't even run that long because uh, it wasn't that popular now that brings us to the original original head and zara spook and now you can see the difference in this guy right here and i'm gonna show you the other one in a minute but notice this here if you look at that line see where that line is it's almost right on top of that hook see this is the original 70s 
Hedon Zaris Book. This one here. Is the Pratco version in the 80s? You can see the seam. This one here is also dubbed on their original. See it right there? Original head and there a spook at the bottom. Well, that's the best way to be able to tell which one's the original and which one's not. Look at that. You can see the swayback, original swayback version has the line there. That is also sometimes referred to as a big head because it has this piece here that's kind of trying to separate from the bottom. Well, a lot of people love that action that it does and I personally like it too. It actually wobbles a lot different. You can do that with this one, but it's not the same. It's not the same action, and everybody knows that. So, what we got here? The original 70s, late 70s, Pratco. And we're going to show you another thing that you can use to tell the difference between the Hedden original and the Pratco original. Here's another one. This is an original sway back head and you can see the head popping up right there see the silver flitter all that glitter flake on it oh, and let me show you the difference here Damn, that happens more than I like to admit this one here is your Pratco version it still has it look it's in there it's just so microscopic for some reason, they changed that old lowrider metal flake paint job to a real subtle paint job. It's got the flakes, it's just very minimal. This is Pratco right here. This is the old original head. This is your swayback. Now, I haven't bought any of those new swaybacks. There's another version of the swaybacks that are purposely indented here so that this head pops up like that but it's not the same thing as the originals Pratco head in. Pratco head in. Okay, big difference now in 1977 I believe they decided to do this one here, which is a wood classic. There you are. Head in. What does it say? <clears throat> Head in wood zero. Okay, let's see if you can get it better right there. These guys are actually made out of wood. They were made with the initial concept of the original with the nose tie bam and there goes the remake wood version they're pretty cool old lures but probably not something I would fish I mean unless I just had to or whatever but I usually like the plastics for that when it comes to the Zara spooks even the Pratco Zara Spook in plastic, I don't mind losing one of those. But, oh man, does it hurt when you lose something like this. So, um, let's talk about another couple of them that you can tell differences uh, subtly on. And that's going to be, now keep in mind all these years are pretty much the same for all these lures. Well, correction, some of them were produced in certain years, some of them weren't. But the theme about the eyes helps you date them even amongst the specific model for example the baby lucky 13 gold eye gold stencil makes it one of the earlier ones 
white eye, gold stencil comes next. You're looking at <clears throat> 50s, 60s, 60s to 70s with the white belly if you notice that. 70s to 80s, yellow belly, black stencil, white eyes. Here's another one, same, but yellow belly. So now you got, and this is one of the things about a lot of these collecting parts that we do. You can go for all the models with the yellow belly, and there's river runs, and there's other uh, lures that have this finish. Or you can go with all the white belly like that. There's a bunch of them that are specifically um, themed with the white belly like that. So now you know that you got more than one option for the same model. And man, does it get deeper from there. Then we go to boxes just to help you identify. I'm going to run through these real quick and show you more or less what I got here. This is a, a 50s era box and it's a two piece. You can see the lure in there has never been used. It's a gold eye. And on these old ones, this one has wing tips on the propellers. That was a, an original one to this box here. You see the XRY code for yellow. After that, 50s, 60s we get this stripy box and this box here is actually coded for a uh, bullfrog in yellow and I think that's what we got in here it's been a long time since these have been opened but yeah a bullfrog with the yellow tracing the uh, spots unlike the usual let's see, the usual green here see the usual green spots this one comes with uh, yellow spots see so this is a little bit of a tougher color a rare lure probably sitting in a box marked for its own self so that's gonna be 50s mid 50s mid 60s remember the blue stripes the lines on them 50s 55 maybe to 65 somewhere 67 then after that came I'm missing one box here it's the green one but after that, in the mid 70s, and we got these coming all the way up to the 80s, which was the Head and Daisy labels on there. And you can see the lure with the green bullfrog pattern. And I believe this is marked, well, there you go. This one's marked for a clear torpedo. So it's probably somewhere in the box back there. I don't know. A lot of times when we pick these up, when we were first starting, we picked up a lot of different types of lures. And half the time, I mean, we got them as they came. And sometimes they just didn't have the right lures in there. After that came this box, which has the, um, the little flag box look in here, the sequence here. But you can actually find some of these boxes probably still more common than finding these so if you're out there looking you're searching for stuff you want to base yourself on uh, no I want to find the older stuff this has a little sample of what you can use when you go out there so that you can know what you're looking for um, let me see I think I got one more little pile of lures here that I was gonna process here and I can show you an example of what I'm talking about with these here we got a gold Go deeper, tiny river runt, gold eyes, beautiful lure. That's probably going to be a mid 50s, early 60s. And then we got the crayon colored eyes on the river runt, mid 60s, 70s to 80s, white eyes on those. And not just that, but the hardware is also different. I'm going to show you right now after I finish with this. This is the ones that came up after that. 
all the way through to the 80s and other Pratco colors and then uh, I believe they got re-releases of Sarah Spooks with different eyes and all that. Um, this is one thing that I did notice and I wanted to show you guys. On the older lures, and this is another quick way you can use, if you're searching for just uh, tadpoles, head and lucky 13s, the tiny 13s, tiny river runs, one of the things that I noticed is the older ones have the actual bell kind of concave kind of sitting a little bit inside the lure the newer ones tend to have that bell sitting completely outside of the body see let's see if I can get a better look here this one sits a little concave into the body this one doesn't this is the older this is the newer older newer older newer anyways I gotta get back to work but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things as I was going through this stuff I got a whole box of zero spook sitting over there behind me that I still gotta go through I got a bunch of doubles and things like that that I'm gonna be sorting out if you're looking for old lures I got my eBay I got my Instagram stuff lined up you guys holler at me and um, I can hook you up with some old stuff anything else that pops into y'all's mind let me know in the comments if y'all want to talk about another brand uh, so far right now we got it uh, programmed for some Arbor Gas Jitterbugs coming up next so holler at your boy we'll see y'all later